All right then lads. Right, today, so you're gonna be coming on a Saturday day out with me because I have the new Honda Civic Type R and I have, as you all know, been looking to get a new daily. And so far that's taken me down a few different avenues. I've been looking at hot hatches. Turn this down a bit. Been looking at hot hatches, been looking at M3s, been looking at GTRs, been looking at all sorts. And I still haven't made my mind up and I've got a few cars on load in the next couple of weeks. But I thought today, as I've got the Civic, I will take you on a bit of a day out, my sort of normal Saturday. I mean, welcome to my humble abode, by the way. Um, it's just me living here. I've just been getting used to living on my own the last couple of months because as I've got older and I've like managed to earn, earn a little bit more money and I'm now living here by myself. So it's just, yeah, I guess it's like a growing up, uh, growing up period really. I don't know, like um, it's my birthday in about a month's time and we turned 27 and yeah, things are changing for me and the fact that I'm now in the position to actually get myself something cool. Uh, even though I've still got the E21 and I've still got the S15, I know you're all asking me what's happening with the S15. There's so much fun stuff coming up, but I'm gonna do a video where I go over and see it and I explain all the different things that I wanna do to it because there's like a list of parts that are all stacking up uh, for me to get cracking with that, which is all good. But first off, I need to go get the car because it's actually got a slow puncture, which is annoying. I think I got it somewhere around here on these lovely East London roads. So we're gonna go sort that out and then where I go next is a good question. But anyway, let's get going because I'm already late. It's what, 11.28 and okay, it's Saturday. I can get away with getting up a bit later, it's fine. Okay, yeah, right, uh, yeah, right. Okay, okay, I'm going. Oh shit. Okay, I've just come back to the uh, uh, the Civic and yeah, the tire's pretty soft so I'm gonna head over to ATS now because I've given them a quick call and thankfully they've got uh, Contact Sport 6s in. Great, 2354. Oh, yeah. oh no, not that song. That's a terrible song. Ugh. And yeah, basically, I'm just gonna go do that because that's the most important thing for today because otherwise I'm not going anywhere. But I have actually left my sweet chili chicken pasta lunchbox in the car and it smells pretty fruity in here. So I'm gonna sort that out as well and we will reconvene uh, at ATS. Ooh, smelly. She's gonna diagnose the problem now. Right, so my man Brad has very kindly actually stopped his lunch break to help me because we did have a nail in the tire, but he is fixing it with a lovely, was that a little mushroom bung in there? That is, yep. Beautiful, so she'll hold wonderfully. Thank you very much. These guys at ATS down on Bow Road, I've literally just driven in and they've put the car straight up on the jack and sorted me right out. So if you're actually in the East London area, get yourself down because they're super, super helpful. We'll be back on the road in about 10 minutes. All in all, it's probably cost me about half an hour out my day. Perfect. And just like that, I'm back on the road again. The guys down at ATS were super friendly, lovely, helped me out when I'm in a pickle. But um, yeah, it's really good to make friends with like your local traders because you never know when you're gonna be in a bit of a tight spot. So I'm really glad that actually now I've like made a connection with these guys because now I can get all of my tires in all the obscure sizes that I need them in and just bring them in here and they'll fit them for me. What a nice, what a nice bunch of lads. Um, right, now on to, I think maybe Rockingham? I'm gonna go down and see, I don't know. I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna get some lunch though. I'm starving. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm on the road to Rockingham. I made a decision when I went and just got some lunch really quickly. Um, because Jojo is up at Rockingham doing some passenger rides and she is also teaching some girls how to drift. And because I have a lot of exciting drift projects coming up this year, um, it's good for me to get back in a car or at least just be, you know, around someone driving because like, I, I honestly, take on so much from just watching someone do something so even if I just get to sit next to her in the car and just absorb some of the some of the movements you know what I mean because a lot of the a lot of drifting is about muscle memory and remembering what to do in the right place at the right time so pull the handbrake there knock it down in second gear catch kick it there for my own sake as I may or may not have some rather big events coming up this year come and spend some time with Jojo because she's actually a sick driver as well and she's a really really nice girl she's one of those people that I met um you know during the whole drift queen explosion that was just so lovely and warm like and she just wanted to kind of I don't know she it felt to me like she was just like bringing me in which is that's all you can ask for when you join 
join uh, into a new motorsport it, or you know you're around it because people are very passionate about it and they can sometimes be a bit cagey but no she's been absolutely wonderful up oh, the where are those police lights coming from i'm going to head on up in this wonderful weather apparently the weather's up there the weather's up there the weather up there is really good power if anything nice so I'm good like that but I tell you what this car hasn't actually used that much fuel I've been getting like 35 mpg that's really good um halfway point I need a way and I need like no that's fuel do it all in one finally on the Rockingham approach um I tell you what I've just ripped through a few gears on uh on the way to the circuit and this thing pulls hard like when you take it all the way to the red line and it gives you the shift light on the dashboard like it feels very well engineered like besides all of like the plastic stuff and all the rest of it like i'm really impressed with this with this car like i'm just on the on the road on the approach to rocking up now right anyway I should, i'm just gonna calm down now because i'm just still coming into rocking up ah such a shame they shut the speedway absolutely waste of a wonderful venue but anyway we're gonna be here now right this is what we call a girl's day out this is jojo say hi hi guys okay so jojo is actually competing in the bdc right now potentially doing some stuff in ireland we don't know yet but i've just come down here today because i've got a free saturday i wanted to take the civic for a hoon and then i also wanted to get out in a car and just refresh myself and this is what we would like to call a refresher course there we go we're gonna show you what it's like at Rockingham. Unfortunately, we do have to run it wet, so it's not going to have the wow factor that we'd like, but we've got 350 horsepower, a little bit of steering lock, no time like the present. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. The picture of beauty right now but we're just gonna go out with Jojo's brother because he is actually an absolute lunatic so we're gonna go out brother and sister versus are we ready I'm really sweaty, sorry about that. I've just been learning, that's why I haven't had the cameras on all day, but now I'm just gonna have a go with you guys watching, because even in like 25 minutes, Jojo's brought my skill level back up to somewhere. It's not quite as good yet, but we will endeavor. Drift missile. Oh yeah. So, second gear, up to 3,000 revs. Bring the revs up. I've got to do later. I'm sweating, I need to get out. Whew. Done. Get back to London. Two hours. Ah! That was great. Like, Jojo is just the best teacher. She's so patient and just, you know, she really wants to help. And she's, I'd say, arguably the sickest uh, British female drifter we've got. So, God, gives you such an adrenaline rush. I'm now like, oh. Um, get to take Civic, back to London. 
and drive it really carefully because once you've done a day of that, it's like so easy to be like, yeah, fine, I can do like a donut on the M1. No, I'm joking. I would never do that, but okay. bye. Okay, next up, two hours later, let's get to London, go. Right, okay, so now I've got back and I am just rushing out the door because I'm gonna go see the girls at the bike shed and then go meet my other friends for a drink. Um, yeah, busy Saturday, but this is normal. I'll give you a quick whip round at the bike shed, but then I'm gonna sit down with a pint because I deserve it today to stay with. Hi, mate. in the cab before I go out. Last stop of the night. Right, she's here now. I can go in. I can go get a drink. <laughs> right, I'm going now. End of the day. Tired, tired, tired. Bye, 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 bye. bye.